Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. All right, guys. Um, last episode, we showed you how to do some cleanup work with uh, doing like black video, doing stabilization, and some other things to get your movie kind of as, as smooth and, and clean as possible. Uh, this episode, uh, this is all kind of prep work into getting getting to sound mixing, which we'll go over. Actually, that will be the next episode is going over sound mixing. So for right now, let's show how to add credits to this because you want credits and you want your titles and credits in here before you start doing your sound mixing because that's going to be part. That's going to change the timing of of some of your sound mixing. So I'd recommend having your movie like visually complete except for the color grading before you actually start doing the sound mixing. So at the beginning of here, we got, uh, I've got three seconds of black here. We play through it. There's three seconds of black, and then it does a fade in. And we've got this shot stabilized, very nice and smooth dolly shot. Smooth is better. So let, let's say we want to fade into a credit here, uh, or, or fade into the opening title before it uh, fades into the movie. We might even hear some things come up, just like some ambient noise and music and everything, but we're going to get into that in sound mixing. But let's say we want a title here at the beginning. Okay, so for titling, what I'm going to do is I'm first of all going to go up to my graphics outlay uh, layout right here. This is the work, workspace layout for graphics here. What it does is it opens up this uh, essential graphics panel on the side. Uh, now to access your titling, the quickest, easiest way to get a title on the screen is to go up to this T here on your toolbar, or you just hit the letter T for your shortcut, and you move over the screen, and uh, actually, let's move it over. Let's say we want the title. If you want the title superimposed over the clip, that's fine. I'm, I'm not going to do that for this movie, but let's show if you, if you want that option. You move this over your screen, and you click right in the middle of the screen, and it adds this little cursor there, and you can call this whatever you want to call it. I called this Dark Knight just because uh, if you call it the mirror, it kind of gives away um, it kind of gives away the uh, the ending. So I actually let's call this the Dark Knight. I don't know. Very very awesome title. Very creative. Uh, but so, so I've typed that in there, and I'm going to move over and grab my arrow tool. Now uh, you've got some numerical options over here. If you can't see this, you'll just go over and click on Edit. If you have something selected over here, go to over to Edit, and it will edit whatever you have selected on screen. Like I said, I'm going to have a future uh, episode on on titling it, uh, a little bit more in detail. This one, I'm just kind of going over the basics of it, just so you can get going on this. So we called this The Dark Knight here. Oh, wait, that's a Batman movie, so I'm not going to call it that. Uh, we'll call it um, um, Dark Knight. There we go. Let's call it Scary Night. Let's call it Horrible Lady in the Mirror Night. Dark Evening. I've never been good at coming up with titles, so I'm just going to call it Dark Evening right now. You guys get it. All right, so Dark Evening. So what you've got here is you've got some wireframe around your text. You can change these over here as well. You've got your you've got your position on screen right here. You have your scale right there. You can unchain this so you can scale it, the X values versus the Y values there, and stretch it out. I'm just going to check mark that so it's uh, so it's linked together there keep it proportional so you've got a bunch of items over here you can kind of experiment with and figure out one thing I really like to do is I go down here if you don't want it kind of justified to the left notice how the anchor point is over here to the left and it grows out from that point you can tell this to center it now it is centered within your wireframe here so if you uh, click inside here and you add more text uh, you hit return and add more the more text it's going to keep it centered hello so it keeps that text centered there It'll center everything inside your box right there. So let's get rid of that. Hello there. Dark evening. Select my arrow so I can move it. And now I can move this text around wherever I want it. So let's say I am going to have this just dead centered in the middle of the of, of the screen. And by the way, when I add uh, this when I add this text on the screen, look what it does down here. It adds a graphic uh, file on top. This is like a video file here now. Now I can extend this, make it last as long as I want. I can select this whole thing and hit Control D, and it adds cross dissolves on both sides, so it fades in and fades out, fades in, fades out. I know I've got this positioned weird, uh, but that, now I've got the fade in, fade out on it. Uh, let's go and find a font that I like. So here's my fonts up here. If you move your mouse over, you can scroll down. Just click, scroll down, or you can open this up and it will show you what's, what, what your font looks like over here on the side. Or if you want to see what it looks like on screen, you can move your mouse over and you can scroll down like this and go through your fonts until you find what you like. There you go. I choose the papyrus or the what's known as the avatar font. Yeah, we love the avatar font. I'm going to scroll this up here, or I'm going to scale that up, make it larger. And now we're going to make this so it fades in. And some other things you also have here. So I'm going to be doing this on on uh, on black on back black background, uh, so I don't need a shadow. But if you want to, you can go down to shadow, 
and change your drop shadow, make it stand out a little bit more. Let me move it over the floor here so you can see the drop shadow here. And you got your opacity for your drop shadow here. You can make your opacity 100% so it's completely opaque. Uh, you make it stand out a little bit more. Now you kind of see that. It's not very dark. It's, it's gray right now. So I'm going to change the color of my shadow to black. Hit OK. And now you can really see that standing out there. Then you can soften your shadow here. Oops, that's a distance there. And over here, right uh, down here, is the softness of the shadow. Make a soft shadow there. And then you got that shadow kind of standing out there. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I want to move my, I want to move this so it fades into this and then fades into the movie. So I'm going to select this here. Uh, I'm going to hold, I'm going to do Control X to cut it. I'm going to move right here between my uh, black video. I arrow it up to move it between my black video and my uh, and my first opening video. And Control Shift V. I just cut it. Control X. And now it's waiting on a clipboard to be pasted. Control Shift V will ripple cut it. Will rip ripple paste it. And now I have my black video. My title fades in. And I want to center this thing. So I'm going to go up here and center it vertically and center it horizontally and now it's perfectly centered. Fade in and that's long enough so I'm going to ripple edit this. I'm going to hit B to ripple edit. Grab this edge here, drag it over to the left and there we go. So now it fades out and fades into my first video clip. Okay, let's say we want to do credits at the end. Um, if you had downloaded the exercise files for this, you'll find in the exercise files these items here. You find a little sound effects folder, credits list video, and I'm going to use, and there's the script right there, I'm going to use this credits list. This is a credit list of the production crew that worked on the video. So I'm going to double click on this. It's a Word document. Open it up, and we have cast and crew here of everybody that worked on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. If I want to keep maintaining the same font, I can copy this. I can copy this graphic. Control-C to copy. Go to the end. Uh, let's go between my black video here, Control shift v instead of Control v Control v will eat over anything in its path. Control shift v v as in Victor, will shove everything out. So I'm just going to make one big credit sl slate here. Uh, you, can, you can do several if you want to, but I'm just going to do one. Since it's a short film, short films usually don't have like long credit sequences or long title sequences at the beginning. They, they, they tend to be pretty short. It's not like a feature-length film where you can spend like five whole minutes doing this big, cool Marvel intro. Uh, so short films are a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the title of the film here. I'm going to scale this down, and I'm going to move it up at the top. By the way, if I want to keep this on this vertical position, uh, center line here, I'm going to start moving up. If I start straying off the path like this, but then I hold down Shift, after you start moving, you hold down Shift, and now look how it locks it to that line and takes it directly up there. Let's put Dark Evening there, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to right-click on uh, this Dark Evening, and I'm going to tell it to Duplicate. Now it's got two of these layers on this same graphic file. I can grab, it, run up here and grab this and move it off, and now I have a duplicate. So we can double click in here. Uh, let's go to my Word document, and I'm going to grab the cast here. I'm just going to call this girl, or we can even just say starring, because she was the only one that's in it. Or we will call her girl. So girl. Okay. I can scale that down and put it like right here in the center, since. She was the star of the show. And now I can do the same thing and duplicate this, and I can start creating kind of a graphic here of my ending credits. Go to Director, copy that, Control-C to copy. Come over here, highlight this, paste that in there. Then I can keep duplicating these things here and move them over and start adding more crew members. Then that, once I get everybody up, uploaded here and we kind of moved around, we'll come back and show you what I've got. All right, coming back here, we've, I've got a whole bunch of my text here on, on screen, of a whole bunch of the, all, all the credits on screen here for the short film. So I'm going to do a little bit of rearranging here. So you can click inside here and just grab any of these wireframes and just kind of get these things straightened out so they look a little bit more like a, a properly aligned. So you can just move these around, get them where you want to. You see all the layers up here that's on that one file there and get these so they kind of look nice. And there we go. We don't have to like play this for too long, so we so let's we're gonna cut here at the end. I wanted to cut to black and then have these credits fade in. So it's gonna go knock 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 and cut to black. And then wait a second, a beat, and then fade in. And there's the credits, and that's gonna be long enough. You don't need to read the entire credits unless you want to pause the movie. You don't want to bore people to death as long as they're credited. It's almost like uh, at the end of those TV shows, uh, the, the mo movies that screen on a television station, they put all the ads on and the, the credits flow by in like 30 seconds, which is actually like a, 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 like a five-minute credits scroll originally. So there we go. Okay. So I now have my uh, opening credit in here. I have my opening title in here. 
and then I have my closing credits in here. I've got everything stabilized, I've got everything kind of cleaned up, and visually this movie is ready to go aside from color grading. Uh, color grading has not been done, but that's the next two steps we're going to do. Next step, I'm going to show you guys how to do a sound mix on this, perform a sound mix, and then I'm going to show you guys how to uh, do a color grading after that. If you have any questions, please send them to me, and uh, thanks for watching. Good day.